most of the lowriders that I know, uh, especially in Kansas City, are people that work hard. You know, um, you know, you talked about the stereotype earlier. Uh, you know that they are people that work two jobs sometimes. You know, their wives work. Uh, they've worked hard all their lives. Doing this is really is not easy. Just the money involved to build the car, you know, is <laughs> it's not easy. N you know, much less the time and the, like we talked about earlier, you know, sometimes it seems like just everything you're doing goes wrong and you got to do everything two or three times. Uh, so they're, they're extremely dedicated to what they do. And I think uh, from whatever culture you are, motorcycle or hot rod, um, if you're a golfer, <laughs> a football player, <laughs> if you see a, you see a guy in a lowrider, uh, he's really put his heart and soul and time into it and should be respected for that. Uh, at, you know, that's, that's something that I don't see, especially the younger ones when they're first starting off and their cars don't look that great and, you know, their, their primer are rusty or the interiors haven't been done and stuff like that. Uh, you know, a lot of the other people who aren't lowriders kind of look down on them, I think or don't respect the work that they've done to their cars so far. Because a lot of these kids are learning and as they go and just doing it on their own. Um, I think that is something I would like to see different if the rest of the world <laughs> sees a guy in a lowrider. I just know that he's got a lot of heart and uh, blood, sweat, and tears in that car, and he really loves it, you know. Um, so uh, maybe people don't know that, maybe they do, you know.